Hello, good evening. This is Tony Mentally Il Matahorn. I'm here at the Gleena Company, logging on with the world out there. You understand? Yes, it. Yes, it. Don't bite me up in a. So, who is Tony Matahorn? Well, Matahorn is a mountain. Um, Tony Matahorn, DJ slash artist slash producer plus slash selector, entertainment center. Good. How did you get the name Tony Mataran? Well, I got the name Tony Mataran from a former selector um, friend of mine, um, Mark Dragon from Inner City, um, my elder in the business. Smoke Bay Mataran, so him that's it. Tony Mataran. What about your name, Mentally Insane? What are you called? Oh, Mentally Insane came further down in my career. I'm in New York City back in the 90s, like 93, 94. I had a tendency of making people go wild and doing crazy stuff, and I was crazy myself, so mentally ill. And the man from Mars? Well, the man from Mars is the person you're seeing right now in front of you. Not really matter on. A different phenomena is just there. Somebody you can't understand just cause feel like a disturbance and all those things, you know? The distraction part of it. How did you get started in the business? Well, I got started um, from Inner City Disco in 1988-89. Mark Dragon um, introduced me to um, Selecting and Danny from Inner City. And I started playing music from then. What do you think made you so popular? Well, what made me so popular? Oh, charisma, charm, the looks. The ladies, I love it. Uh, uh, my style. I brought different things to the dance hall throughout the, the different eras, so most likely that was what made me very famous. Do you prefer selecting or you prefer DJing? Um, selecting. Why? No, that's my passion, you know. DJ, I just DJ because I, I can DJ very well. But selecting, that's my real passion. Most of your songs seem to be of a sexual nature. <laughs> Why is that? Because Mataran is about sex. Furthermore, um, at the time, I did sex songs. I did a couple other songs, but most of my songs sex related because um, there's more females in the dance hall and most of the artists in the dance hall tend to figure that there's more men in the dance hall so them the gun song and I don't like the gun song thing like that. So somebody have to do the song for the ladies them. What new songs do you have out now? Well I have Survivor, I'm a ride, I'm a rollout. I got couple more um, wash pan aka steady wine that's the new wine that the girls are doing nowadays and a few other no collaboration um, yes I have a new one with me and rain coming out actually supposed to send off the mix um, looking for that's a title how difficult was it for you to break as an artist um, well it wasn't hard um, I did um, <coughs> I did um, a song 2005 for Mario C. Um, I seen the dancers come out tonight, and I mean, that's like a big underworld song, because you have some songs with big worldwide, but they're underworld. Um, that's like a famous dance anthem that was back in the days. And then I did my um, next song with Richie Feelings, and my third song was Dirty Wine. So it wasn't really a long thing. Are you still a member of the Bembe squad? No, not really. We just bust things and leave it. Bembe, we started Bembe back then and bust it so the youth them can get involved, you know, with um, weekly activities. Then uh, I was on to something else. Okay. Who is your favorite artist? Well, me have a whole heap in about Hannah Mercy. Now this is Hi Hi. Hey, hello, Bunty Killer. You have traveled widely because of your career. What is your most memorable traveling experience? Well, I have a few of those. I have um, some good ones where um, one time we were coming from London on the plane and the whole back of the plane was pure British people and some Jamaican, you know the Jamaican British them. And they had Hennessy round there and they were keeping like a little party back to Jamaica um, for, I think it was Christmas or Easter time. But th that was fun. I mean, everybody was like partying around the back of the plane. Even the hero system came around from time to time. I was like, yeah, join yourself. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, a party was set. 
What's the worst experience? Worst one, um, flying from Puerto Rico to Miami and the turbulence was the worst. I mean, the plane probably dropped about a thousand feet, like three times. So about 3,000 feet, boom, 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 boom. I think that was the worst. What is the strangest thing a fan has done or said to you? A what? A fan has done or said to you. Strangest thing? Um, well, when you put me on a spot like that, let me think about one. Um, well, a man bring him wife to me one time and say, if you don't hug her up and take a picture with her, me probably not get none. <laughs> I mean, we just find that strange. I mean, the man bring him wife and me take a picture with her and hug her up and say, squeeze her tight. <laughs> if me not do that, the film wife, him probably don't get none tonight. So I say, all right, me hug her up and take a picture. I thought that was weird. <laughs> when you are playing, you always seem to have a strong vibe and often say some interesting thing. How does Tony Matram prepare to play at an event? I never prepare, you know. Apart from world clashes, like the, um, the real big clash, fully loaded and so forth. I don't really prepare, um, it's just me. I'm spontaneous like that. What you hear in the dance hall, or you hear Mataran on the mic, I don't build things pre um, to preview. I just do it right then and there. So you probably won't hear me repeat myself a lot. I just do right there, it's current. Speaking of clashes, what's the most interesting dub you've heard in that class? Um, the most interesting dub? Well, um, Mighty Crown had fun. Um, Wycliffe had a nice, interesting dub. Um, now look at me at Fully Loaded by the Sea. And then I have some very interesting ones too. Um, me not care where they were in Clash Ram. Me had a real Clash champion. Me win one in Amobi, I me take one to London. Now one Mataran, one done. Actually, the visa had already made me never go Uncle Sam. You go to New York, go buy one. Yeah, um, Cartel, that Cartel special. What was the best Clash experience for you ever? Um, best Clash experience ever. Mm. King of these, I have a couple of those. Um, with, um, with me and Babyface, King of these time. Um, with we and Bass Odyssey, I think those clashes were very interesting. And with Mataran, Mataran and Fire Links, them, I mean, those ones were, you know, fully loaded, 2001. Yeah, when well, my drone links over the beach, yeah, I drowned them. <laughs> and which other selectors do you think you have the most chemistry to work with? Um, chemistry. I mean, I work with just about any one of the selectors. Them, I work perfectly well with all of them. But chemistry-wise, um, I think back in the days, um, me and Richie Feelings used to be bad, you know. I mean, we don't talk right now, but the chemistry, the bad, and Mataran and Johnny Killer from New York, yeah. So why are you guys on talk now? We're just not talk. <laughs> what three things do you think a good selector needs to be successful? What three things him need to get him success are yeah, it, to be successful. So to be successful, um the selector need to have three things. The most important one is to can view in and out of the dance hall. That means when he's up there he can zoom in on any individual in the dance hall because I have that. Every one of the great selectors, if you see a selector where you really accept him as a great selector, he actually masters that. It's like we are a video camera, we can zoom in on any little event in the party, even without the video light. That's the most important thing you're supposed to know. Everybody in the crowd, even though you don't know everybody in the crowd, you're supposed to have a view, a visual on everyone in the dance. And, and that's going to help you to become a great selector. And two, you have to have command. Because the more you can control the dance, is the more you can bust the dance. And the more you bust the dance, is the bigger you become. So you have to have that. And then the third thing a selector really need to become successful, you have to, if you don't have it, somehow adapt some charisma. So that means you get the view, you get that, you get the command, and you get the charisma, and you mix the three of them, and it comes off beautiful. You just need all of them three there.
Okay, peeps. Well, this is Tony Mentally Ill. I'm saying bye. You just watch Tony Mataran. So just keep checking out the star because I are a star. You understand? I can say I am a star, but it's really I are. I are the one. I are a star. So stay tuned. Star of the month. Star.